all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel once again for some more haiku season four gonna be doing episodes 9 and 10 today hopefully you guys are enjoying the reactions for the season so far man i've been excited you know what i'm saying we are eight episodes into the season i know there's a second part that's why this time you know it's not a 10 episode season like last season around this point we were getting ready to close out the season so the hypeness was at 10 you know what i'm saying but in this season i know the season is not over it's just the first part of the season so we're gonna get you know maybe i'm expecting that you know these two episodes are probably gonna be more practice or whatever i don't expect nationals to start or maybe till maybe like close to the end of this first part of the season um so you know so i'm expecting a couple more slow slow episodes um i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it man um so i just you know before we go on to the break and to the review if you know what i'm saying before you go and rot reaction if you're watching my intros man just know that memberships are live on the channel so go check them out um look it's in the it's in the description to join the channel um you can look at it the prices are there whatever whatever you know what it is the perks are there whatever whatever it is what it is you guys can do that if you want to support your boy terror by reacts okay we're out here anyways thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all and i will see you guys for the review Sorry guys that I had to cut it off when the hypest moment ever. That was episode 10. My god. That you know, they have arrived first match of the Nationals, man. And it's not over yet. But the great one, the king, has arrived finally. Um after trying to get used to the spatial awareness. Um you know if i should say from from experience it's very true what you're talking about because you can be used to to training and doing all this thing in a in, in a small gym and then when you get out there in front of the lights and all of this other stuff you kind of lose your spatial awareness because you're kind of used to uh, and it's not because the court gets any bigger it's just that the room you're in gets bigger so it kind of throws you off. Say, for instance, give you guys an example. Um, certain people that are not, you might be very good at a sport, right? And you might just like, uh, I'll give you guys a, let me use a current example instead. Current example that is going on right now. A lot of the people that are playing in the NBA bubble, right? Before you used to have crowds you know what I'm saying? So close to, to the court and, and stuff like that. Like sitting right behind the player. You have people sitting courtside and stuff like that. Um, now they're in the bubble. They don't have none of that. They don't really have anybody on the side. You don't have that crowd. You know what I'm saying? To feed off of in, in, in certain players' um, perspective. You get what I'm saying? Some, some players, they feed off, you know, that energy that comes from having home advantage. You don't have that in the bubble you know what i'm saying some people say they should be able to play better because um you know what i'm saying they don't have all that noise bothering them home or away so you see it affects people in different ways you get what i'm saying um and it all goes to spatial awareness too because you know you might be used to it could be that you were targeting a certain thing while the crowd was there um, when you're shooting your shot and stuff like that stuff that you kind of concentrate on and maybe that isn't there maybe it was a person that has freaking courtside seats or seats behind the basket and stuff like that and you always see that person and that person could be your guy that's like if i'm over here i know to look for that guy because he's always at every home game right so it could be that that's your muse you know what i mean so, so there are things in in sports that could cause that is what i'm trying to say so what kageyama is going through you know are all of well not really all of them but it's mainly just kageyama getting adjusted to the spatial awareness that's a very true thing when it comes on to to sport 
in general you get what i'm saying so you might have to adjust how you bat in baseball because every stadium is different you get what i'm saying so you got to know you might be really good at your home stadium and then everywhere else you suck because all the stadiums are different you got to adjust every time or maybe you love playing at this stadium because the home the home run point on the right side is probably a little bit shorter or whatever the situation there are small little things that affects you that affect can affect you as a player in any sport you get what i'm saying so you got to keep those thing those things in mind so them being in a bigger gym brighter lights you know what i'm saying it, it it can mess you especially for a game that you're always looking up you know what i'm saying hopefully those lights are not too bright for them i'm pretty sure that they temper them down a bit so that it's not blinding when the players look up to um you know to see where the ball is going so pretty cool stuff man i'm glad that they highlight stuff like that in this anime um you know uh because it's very much so that's why i was wondering also i know you guys haven't seen the video yet but i did talk about it in a couple of reactions ago in a re in a review where i was talking about basically um i forgot my point i think i think i forgot my point um yeah i completely just forgot what i was about to talk about yep i did <laughs> your boy is getting old man <laughs> i'm getting old and i usually have pretty great memories just things just slip me sometimes you know what i'm saying but in any case yeah man i'm enjoying the episodes if it comes back to me then i'll talk about it but yeah man i'm enjoying the episode um they are doing their thing they come on the court they're showing them this team is not going to beat karasuna so i'm not worried about them beating karasuna they have not seen they barely warming up right now they're warming up i wouldn't be surprised if karasuna beat them in straight sets because now that kageyama is ready to go the the you know what i'm saying his position his precision is now going to be on point you know um so i think they're going to have used power i don't see anybody on their team if they were going up against somebody that we were introduced to before i would say this might be a formidable team for them to go up against for the first match but i don't see these guys as anybody really to be honest you know they are who they are and we're here to whoop some ass we not here to take names we just here to whoop ass okay so thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all for tuning in all the time and showing love on these videos man i really do like it so continue to do so like it i do not like the fact that y'all are watching my videos and not liking my videos that i do not like to be honest it's like every time a, a haiku video comes out there's like hundreds of views hundreds of views at least at least 200 within two days at least 200 within two days haiku videos are doing very well on the channel consider it, <laughs> right you know what i'm saying and i'm barely getting like at not even 10 percent of the people that watch the videos are liking them it's like i get like 200 views and like 15 likes it's just like nobody want it's like nobody wants to like the videos it's like but y'all are enjoying them i get tons of comments and no likes so yeah get them likes up man catch you guys later peace <laughs>